Hi, my darlings. How are you? This is going to be for my Virgos, and this is going to be a message for whenever it reaches you. I will be using my Afro Goddess Tarot Arcana's deck, and to clarify, I'll be using my beginner's tarot that came in this pouch. To everyone stopping by, darlings, I welcome you all with open arms and an open heart. Please know I deliver these messages to you from my heart to your heart always. Take what resonates and leave what does not, okay, babies? So let's see what message or messages we have for you, Virgo. So Virgo, this is for you. We have the temperance card, patience or balance. The four of swords recuperating from something. This is past energy. The goddess of swords could have something to do with the air energy. Uh, Gemini, a Libra or an Aquarius. You got the two of pentacles feeling balanced. You have the world completion, successful. The Two of Cups, something to do with love, some kind of partnership. The Moon, secrets revealed. The Three of Wands, making progress. Or maybe you're going on a trip somewhere. The Hierophant, knowledge gained. So let's see. Virgo. So on top of the temperance card, we have the Hierophant, we have the Three of Wands, and we have the Hanged Man, past energy, okay? So it seems like something, I don't know, that you, you, you gained a lot of knowledge about something not too long ago, you had some beliefs, um, you stuck with them, you were preparing to move on, and things started to expand for you. But something came along the way and stopped you like dead in your tracks. What happened? We got the hanged man here. We got the Hierophant. We got the Three of Wands. And we have the hanged man. What happened there? Then we have the Four of Swords. Maybe something happened that you're recuperating from or you were recuperating from. But now there's celebration. But there's anxiety and conflict. What's going on? <sighs> what happened? Huh? Some kind of good news that came. But it wasn't. Something took place here. Maybe something at a celebration. It's something you're recuperating from. It has you in a lot of anxiety, like in your head. Now past, okay, this is past. And it seemed like you had a lot of inner conflict. We have the Three of Cups, we have the Nine of Swords, and we have the Five of Swords. And then we have the Goddess of Swords. Now, it could have or might have had something to do with the air energy. A Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. It also had something to do with, with unexpected. <sighs> something unexpected. You are recuperating. But it also made you feel very grateful and very self-sufficient. I got the Ten of Pentacles, and that's like accumulation of wealth. That's like coming into some finances suddenly. But you're thinking or recuperating. And then we have the Empress, which is about fertility, femininity, abundance. 
That's a real beautiful energy here. Is it so much that it has you deep in thought in regards to this air energy? We'll keep going. This is past energy, yeah? Huh? This is what's throwing me and the conflict with Nine of Swords and the, the Five of Wands. It's like things seem like they were going good and something happened maybe at a party or some kind of celebration. I don't know. Something happened. It was sudden. But you did come into some unexpected, probably finances. It's got you recuperating from something. And there was something abundance here. It's something in abundance. We got the two of pentacles. It could have been finances, feeling balanced finance, financially. We got the three of pentacles. We got the magician and we got the death card. So the three of pentacles is about your finances growing or your career, things growing for you. And there's nothing you can do about it because the universe has her hands in it. We got the magician. The magician is about your magic or you have all the resources within you. And the death card is about change. Endings and new beginnings. So there's something changing for you, something that's growing, okay? There's magic around. You have the three of pentacles, you have the magician, and you have the death card. Then we have the world card. Completion, success, travel. We have the hermit. Your soul searching, doing some deep searching here. There's some change coming in. Definite transformation. There's a change coming in. You've been thinking that, oh my goodness, this money's been taking forever. Or whatever it is, it's been taking forever to come along. And it's taking a long time. It's coming. Be patient. Okay? You got the Knight, Knight of Cups. Someone is coming or something is coming with some kind of proposal. It's taking a while. That's how you feel. But it is coming. You got the Hermit. You have the Page. The Knight. You have the Knight of Pentacles. And you have the Knight of Cups. Something romantic. It's going to be a partnership offer. We got the Two of Cups. On top of the Two of Cups, we got the King of Cups. We got the Four of Cups. And we got the Seven of Pentacles. Now, the King of Cups, is a. it could be a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio that's coming in. Brand new, bringing offers. It's got you thinking. You know, you're thinking about this. Oh, my goodness. You know, what am I going to do here? I'm worried. You know, what you're worried about? Worry brings worry. We got the seven of pentacles here. Stop worrying. There's nothing to worry about, Virgo. You have the king of cups. You have the four of cups. And you have the seven of pentacles. There's some type of partnership here. And you deep in thought about it. Now, maybe something was revealed that brought things full circle to make you understand things. Maybe this energy, this water energy told you something to bring things... Uh, make you understand a few things that you had questions about. It brought, brought you mental clarity as well. We got the world. We got the ace of swords. And we got the six of pentacles, which is about balance. They're bringing in balance as well. Successful completion of whatever it was. that Whatever was said to you. Whatever it was that you had questions about. The truth was revealed. You got the world card. You got the ace of swords, which is about mental clarity. And you got the six of pentacles, which is about balance. Okay, giving and receiving. Then we have the three of wands. <clears throat> On top of the three of wands, we have the wheel of fortune. We have the justice card. But then now we got the ten of swords. What happened here? Everything seems to be going well. I mean, except for the past. You know, the past, it seemed like it was a lot of conflict here. It does seem like, okay, so we got the Wheel of Fortune, which is about good luck and karma and life cycles and destiny. Your life is at a turning point. Um, the Justice card, which is about balance, fairness. It could be something ended in a divorce for you or an ending. It was like for sure an ending here. Something ended. Not, And I say divorce just because I got the... Justice card and the Ten of Swords. What happened here? Is this past stuff? Is this the anxiety that still lingers? Let's keep going, okay? We got the Wheel of Fortune, we got the Justice card, and we got the Ten of Swords here. <clears throat> then you got the Hierophant. 
top of the Hierophant, we have the High Priestess, we have the Seven of Cups, and we have the Temperance card. Whatever wisdom you gained, <laughs> you need to trust yourself. Trust yourself about things. Trust you. You have a lot of wisdom here. I don't know if this ending here was a betrayal that you went through that ended in something legal. Because I do see in the past that you were recuperating from something. Now, maybe the secrets revealed had something to do with this ending here. But it's also bringing in good luck for you. You need to use your intuition, though. You do have some choices. Don't go over analyzing things just because of the past. Make sure you heal the past. Okay? And you will find balance. You just need to be patient. We got the High Priestess, we got the Seven of Cups, and we have the Temperance card. On top of the Hierophant. Whatever is going on right now with you, I would say in the department of romance, you're extremely focused on it. You're paying attention. But we got the three of swords lingering here, which is about heartbreak and sadness. Now there was something that ended. Now it's something that ended. Something that you need to heal. You're paying attention to this heartache, why? That's why you're thinking and overanalyzing this new situation. But you got the Ace of Cups. Your cup overflows. This is about love. New love. We got the Eight of Pentacles. We got the Three of Swords. And we got the Ace of Cups. And you need to let go of that past. That fire energy. You need to let go of. You need to let go of that fire energy. You got the King of Wands and you have the Judgment card. Could be something from the past here. But you're letting go. You're feeling brand new. You're letting go of that heartache. You're starting to heal. You're starting to feel better. You're starting to feel revitalized and brand new. You're starting to feel like yourself. You're starting to feel feelings like you ain't never felt before. Beautiful feelings. Enjoy them. I love you, darlings. You take care of yourselves, and we definitely will chat soon.